What's up everybody, and welcome to part 3 of my full walkthrough for Groundhog Day like Father Like Son here on Clit Reaper Games. There are timestamps below to help you if you're stuck on a part of the game. If you're just watching to see this sequel to Groundhog Day or to check out some gameplay, beware of the timestamps because they contain major spoilers. In a three part walkthrough I go through the entire game, not as a speed run, but without making any mistakes. Before I go, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Triple Point, Sony Pictures, and Tequila Works for sending me a key for their game. I hope this helps you out. Please enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, your girlfriend, name's Elise, met at the coffee shop, maybe you've heard of me. Yeah, no, your voice isn't really ringing any bells. Oh my god, go fuck yourself, Phil. Junior, did you order breakfast? I did. Thank you. Sophie, this saves big so much news. time. Your and grandmother now we can leave has earlier. a VIP pass for S H V. I do have tonight. a pass. Grandma, you're the best. Thank you so much. Sorry, I need to take this. You know who loves shiny, happy, Hello. bulletproof too? Hi, Ned. Punks. Uh, I mean, punk. X. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you know Kids. who the hell Punk X is. I do. You know John Ryerson? Side, okay? From your yes. science class? We need to get ready for yes. Ceremony. I know. That's his tag. It's been a That's long time. Deep. I'm very no, happy. I'm a hard yeah. Now. And you'd love to go to the concert. Why don't you ask him? No this could be great for me. Uh, for you. For him. Cool. Yeah. I'll ask him. But hey. You better not be catfishing me. Sophie? Yeah. Don't tell the twins to come soon. inside. I'll meet okay, you they there. listen to you. Okay, Dad. Come on, Phil, let's... you just it's read my minutes. mind. I really need a cappuccino. We are about to eat Jake. breakfast. Jake. Oh, maybe you gotta let the cappuccino go. It's not all about you. What? Think about it. Um, hey, uh, people are going through bad hey, shit all the right time, now. and you're worried about a cappuccino? Really Let it go, man. Go, 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 go. You, you need to get out there and help someone Freaking other than yourself so today. Wow. That's like exactly what Dad would have said. You're right. I'm getting all wound up for statue? nothing. It just... Oh, they're going to set it up now. Great. Miss him, you know? Oh, Jake, I do. I do. Now come on. Let's do this. Make sure you get a good spot while I get the barbecue fired up. Kids, come on! <laughs> Calm down, Dad. I really don't think it's gonna be sold out. Oh, look. There's Ned. Phil? Phil Jr.? Hey! I thought that was you. Well, hot dog! Ned? Hey. Ned Ryerson? Bing! Oh, sure as heck fire. Great to have you back in Punxsutawney for this memorial. 
This is going to be just You know, amazing. Ned, I understand you have a tough decision to make today about Sarah's bookstore. Wow. How did you... But it's at moments like this, more than any other time, that you need to remember the Ryerson Shuffle. Oh my god, seriously? Our dance? So well, now... I haven't thought about the old Ryerson like, Shuffle in years. Interest in maybe seeing shiny, happy oh, Bing! You remember the moves? Choices in life are just like the shuffle, what? Ned. No are risk, no joy. Oh, oh Dad, crazy. Phil is right. Cool. Don't you think we can do this bookstore cool. together? No hey. risk, no joy. Oh, pumpkin. Gosh. All right. Let me run some numbers, but I'm confident we can make this little buckaloo fly. Junior, that was a very nice thing you did. Come on, the ceremony's about to start. Okay, enough talk. Let's go to the ceremony. Evans, this is just horrible. Who on earth would have done this? I don't know. What do you think on a scale of 10 to 10? What? They totally defaced your father's statue. So, like a three? This is horrible. Right, totally. It's horrible. Oh, I wish he were here with us today. Well, Rita, are you ready? I'm sorry. I just can't. Mom, Junior, why don't you let me do the speech? Can you get up and... Thanks, Junior. <laughs> oh! All right, all right, everyone, settle down. We're here to celebrate Phil Connor. And to kick things off, here's Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. What's up, Punxsutawney? That's right, I'm back in my hometown and taking all of you with me for an extra special episode of Glass Half Phil. So buckle up, because things are about to get real. Let me talk about... Okay, there's Jake and my dad in the aprons. You know, because we had dinner every night as a loving family. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I gotta admit, I used to think I knew my brother. Big Lug, who's just insanely content with his life every single day, until today. The one day I get stuck at home is the day Jake decided to be an angry, miserable son of a bitch. It sucked more for me than for him, I promise you. But I realize now he was always so happy before because he had something I didn't. A guide, a mentor, he actually listened to our dad in their nightly cooking sessions. It's a bit late, I know, but I wish I'd spent more time listening to you, Dad. And Jake, I will make the best cappuccino for you every day if it helps keep that smile on your face. Promise. All right, let's chat about... Okay, so here's my dad carving an ice sculpture of my mom. You know, I could never carve something that beautiful. But the truth is, like with so many other things, my dad was right. Mastery just takes hard work and time. A lot of time. See, there's a kid out there, you all know him. John Ryerson. How did he do that? By not giving up. By taking the time to get good. I'll tell you. I finally learned from John what I wish I'd learned from my dad years ago. All it takes is time. All right, let's chat about... Ah, yes, Ned and Phil, best of friends. Here's the thing about Ned, folks. If you stop and you peel down a layer, you'll find a man who has used that talent for ridiculous positivity in his own life. To pull out of a nosedive of a divorce with his soul intact, to save his daughter from raising a son all alone, you'll find a man willing Beautiful. to dance the weirdest dance in the world, in public, to reconnect with his daughter. See, that's the thing my dad knew about Ned, and about all of you. <laughs> Good one, Junior! Nobody oh, is wow. just who they seem no, to be no. on the outer layer. Oh, Junior, oh, junior. that was a beaut. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, that's really nice. Thank you everyone for coming! But
Lola. <laughs> Bro. The things you said about me, I, I didn't know you felt like that. I almost cried, but I didn't because society tells me I have to be tough. Those other things, though, I don't know. Mom seems kind of emotional about the whole thing. She's walking home alone. I'm going to spend some time with Mary and the twins. Then maybe we'll go for a drink at the Pennsylvania later. You in? It's nice just to have some family time, you know? Okay, Jake, see you later at the Pennsylvania. Have you heard? It's gonna be quite a shindig. I have heard that, yeah! Can't wait! Phil Connors, just the guy I wanted to see today. I'm thinking about old times. Can I buy you a drink? Okay, Phil, what's going on? I don't hear from you for God knows how long, and suddenly you show up in town and you're convincing my dad to lend me the down payment for the bookstore. It's not like you. Hey, Sarah, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not calling after the fight forever ago. I'm sorry I walked out. I'm sorry I made you worry. I'm sorry I broke our hearts. God, I was an asshole. I don't deserve your forgiveness. My hope is that I get the chance to earn it. <laughs> Whatever happened to those kids? I was gonna grow up, build my bookstore, and have love babies with Punxsutawney's own rock star. I did have the hair for it. Yeah, if only you'd learn to play that guitar. But I made it look good. <laughs> Do you remember your first concert? Wait, wasn't that right here? Yeah, and your audience was basically me. If I remember right, a guy playing guitar was once your kryptonite. My self-respect kryptonite. I think it still is. Looks like you want to prove your theory. Well, there is one right there. But I used to play guitar with my theory. right or my left hand. Duh, I'm right-handed. Wow, I haven't picked up one of these in a long time. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Don't forget to hold the chord. Phil, you've really improved. Yeah, maybe a little. I wish you hadn't given up. Come on, look at my gene pool. We're small town dorks, not rock stars. I don't know. Your dad believed you would be a rock star. What? No, he didn't. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? He hated my guitar playing. He told me I was terrible. You were terrible. But you had charisma. Maybe he was trying to inspire you to be better. Oh, Dayton County Fair, Summer 99. Biggest crowd I ever played, and Dad didn't even show. Wait, Summer of 99? Yes. And we partied like it was. You were there. No, I wasn't. Phil, your dad wasn't there because he was with me. In the cafe. Crying my eyes out over you. Oh. I wanted to go to that show. You blew me off when there wasn't room in the van. Told me to get a taxi. I was done with you. Then your dad came in. He was getting food to go, telling everybody how he was headed to his son's show. I tried to hide, but he saw me. He ordered milkshakes and sat down. He said, a star like you would have a million more shows, and I shouldn't sweat missing this one. Your dad loved you, Phil, so he loved us. Remember him how you want, but I know he was the best. It wasn't easy being the son of the best. Compared to most dads, mine is a weirdo. My son's is a loser. You won the dad lottery. Sure. Phil, it's not easy being a parent. You have no idea. Well, I'll find out soon enough if I can ever get out of here. What do you mean? Wait, never mind. Sorry. Oh my god. I haven't told anybody this. I haven't even really processed it myself. But my girlfriend Elise back in Pittsburgh? Well, she's maybe kind of pregnant. Wait. What? Wow! It's really early, but, you know, we maybe talked about moving in together, and, and then Streamler called, and, you know, they're everything I thought I wanted. So, instead of piling boxes into a two-bedroom, I'm stuck here, halfway to Hollywood, and far away from all the terrifying life crap. Wow, that sounds real familiar. What's she like, this Elise? She's... great. She's funny. She's talented. She sells these little hand-knit iPhone cozies on Etsy. And she's the first woman to see through my bullshit. Since you. But we're kind of in that fun phase of dating where she calls me every morning and tells me to go fuck myself. Every morning? Well, this morning. Again. And again. And again. I'm also kind of stuck in a time loop. Uh-huh. Can I give you some unsolicited advice, Phil? I'll give you 0.2 seconds to answer that. Sure. Let me have it. I think there's a reason you're here talking to me tonight. And it's not whatever you had in your head. I think you needed your best friend back, so someone can tell you this. If you can't learn from your mistakes, if you keep doing the same stupid thing over and over, you really are in a time loop, pal. Right. You're gonna be a dad, Phil. Dads don't have to be perfect. They just have to be there. I think you know what you need to do. And it's not here with me. Go talk to her. I'll see you around. I thought you and Sarah were happy, Junior. Why the sudden rush to leave? Anything I can say to talk you out of it? Yeah, you can stay out of it. Well, for the record, you're making a mistake. You think there's someone better out there, somewhere better. But everyone and anywhere is perfect. If you just stay quiet long enough to listen to their soul sing, Oh my god, do you even listen to yourself? You're like a walking fortune cookie. You think you're so evolved, so magically perfect at everything. But you're as big a mess as all of us, Dad. You're wrong there. I'm not perfect at everything. I'm certainly not perfect at being a dad. Being a dad is hard. I've just had lots of time to practice all the small stuff. 
Lots and lots of free time. See, you're always saying crap like that. What does that even mean? I, I can't, Junior. I, I know you, okay? I used to be you. There are so many things I want to tell you, but you're not ready to believe me. No matter what I say, no matter how I explain it, you, you'll still think it's a metaphor or I'm insane because my stories are not possible. When will I be ready? I, I don't know. That depends on you. Maybe when, maybe when you're a dad. Never listened to him. Wow, Sarah was right. Things getting too real with Elise, and I just bolted. Jesus, something's wrong with me. Tip top okay, cafe, where all your pasta time shine. come true. This is Phil can I Connors take your order? Reminding you to bundle up. Hi, Alice. Hey, can I have the super makeup breakfast delivered to Rita Connor's house on Cherry Street? There. Expect that Thanks. snow to keep falling, and that wind. <laughs> Seriously, Phil? You're in Punxsutawney? Listen, Elise, I'm sorry. Did I call the wrong number? I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Elise, my whole life I have run from my family, from my life, and I don't want to run anymore. Okay, well, I'm glad you at least know you fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. You really fucked up. Do you even want to be a dad, Phil? Uh, yeah, I do. I think I do. I don't think I was ready before. I'm ready, Elise. We're ready. You sound awfully sure all of a sudden. Don't think I'm gonna roll over just because you had a momentary change of heart. <laughs> momentary? <laughs> Trust me, I have had a long time to think about things. You literally just left last night. I know. Crazy, right? Phil. My first ultrasound is tomorrow morning. I wanted you here for it. Oh, God. I'm sorry. No, Phil, I don't want you apologizing to me over the phone. You want me to have this baby with you? You need to come home tomorrow. Believe me, I'm gonna try my hardest. Okay. Well, just let me know when you're coming, Phil. I'll be here. <laughs> Junior, did you order breakfast? I did. Listen, Mom, there's uh, something we need to talk about. If this is about those uh, magazines I found in your sock drawer, I'm sorry. I threw no. them away a long time. No. Uh, what I wanted to tell you was, look, don't tell anyone. It's really early still, but my girlfriend is pregnant. What? You haven't met her. Her name's Elise. She's... You'll like her. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Guys! Junior's gonna be a father! Okay, sure, tell everyone. Got a few phone calls you wanna make? Let's tell the whole neighborhood. Go, bro! Just think. Uh, Ooh, yay! Oh, Phil, little children How are you feeling a about this, bro? You must feel Hello? so wonderful. Hi, Ned. Yeah, How is everything going? I'm actually starting to get a little excited. That's the spirit. Yes, Junior's here. Enjoy the excitement now, because once you start changing diapers you 20 won't times a day, this. that He's excitement going to be a fades dad. away. Really yes, quick. he just told it us. Does. It really does. Uh, I wish Dad was here. Congratulations to see from Ned. He would tell you exactly what you needed to hear. Yeah? What would he say? He'd tell you that your life is not all about you anymore. Once you become a parent, you can't help but put your kids' needs above your own. No, you have to let go of that we're not ready yet. We're so going to be late. Kids become good I know, At but things are a bit out of control. He's not gone, Jake. You've still got Dad's advice to guide you. I guess you're right. I still can't believe you're going to be a daddy. Man, I'm so happy I don't even need a cappuccino anymore. Great. So happy you're we happy, are Dad. about to eat breakfast. Now, what about me? All I wanted to do was see shiny, happy, bulletproof. Shiny Happy Bulletproof? Isn't that Teddy Smith's band? You know, he sent me a VIP pass for the concert tonight. It's yours if you want it, Sophie. Oh my god, Grandma, thank you so much. You know who you should invite? John Ryerson? Or should I say, Punk X? Oh yeah. 
You guys would have a blast. John is Punk X? Are you serious? Oh, Junior, I can't believe you're starting your own family. Dad would be so proud. Why? It's not like I discovered the cure for cancer. Well, he always thought family was the most important thing. You know the sculpture they're putting up in Gobbler's Knob? He didn't actually get to finish it. It was going to be of the whole family. Your father was making it for our anniversary. He had just begun working on it when he... I'm sorry he couldn't finish it, Mom. Thank you, Junior. Listen, I have to go. I'll see you at the ceremony. I need to finish this statue for Mom. Do you think you deserved a nice statue? I know this is what you wanted, for Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, I'm going over there to make sure you get a good spot while I get the barbecue fired up. Kids, come on! <laughs> Calm down, Dad. I really don't think it's gonna be sold out. Oh, look, there's Ned. Phil? Phil Jr.? Your mom hey. told me the news, you're gonna be a daddy, a papa popsicle. Hey. <laughs> you know what I always say. Bing? Yes. That, are you really having a baby, Phil? Well, yeah. If I can ever get home. Leaving Punxsutawney is a little harder than I remember. I'm happy for you. Wow. Hey, I, I need, you need any, uh, you know, parenting advice? Anything. I'll be at the Pennsylvania later tonight, after the ceremony. Ooh, Maybe thanks. grab a drink, for old time's sake? Yeah, so that'd be nice. Question. You know, Ned, I understand you have a tough decision to make today about Sarah's bookstore. Junior, that was a very nice thing you did. Come on, the ceremony's about to start. Are you serious? I love SHB! Okay, enough talk. Let's go to the ceremony. Someone finished it! And it's the whole family! Just like your dad imagined! Thought it might be a nice surprise for the ceremony. You carved it? Junior! Since when can you do something like this? Since today. I guess I have a little more of the old man in me than I thought. Do you mean... Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, I just... It... Dad used to tell stories, but... I never believed him. I know, Mom, I know. I've talked about it many times. I mean, on many todays. 
just like you and Dad did. Are you... okay? You know, Mom, Dad always said he'd tell me the story of what happened to him when I was ready. Clearly, he never thought I was. I don't know, looking at this statue. Dad would have said it himself. You've grown so much since yesterday. You're ready, Philip. I wish he was here. I've lived this day so many times, Mom. I wish I could ask him how he got out of this. Hmm. Could I borrow you after the ceremony? There's something I'd like to show you. Now, come on. Someone's got to get up there and make a speech. It's not going to be me. All right, all right, everyone, settle down. We're here to celebrate Phil Connors. And to kick things off, here's Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. What's up, Punxsutawney? That's right, I'm back in my hometown and taking all of you with me for an extra special episode of Glass Half Phil. Buckle up, because things are about to get real. Let me talk about... Okay, there's Jake and my dad in the aprons. You know, because we had dinner every night as a loving family. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, I gotta admit. I used to think I knew my brother. Big Lug, who's just insanely content with his life every single day. Until today! The one day I get stuck at home is the day Jake decided to be an angry, miserable son of a bitch. It sucked more for me than for him. I promise you. But I realize now, he was always so happy before because he had something I didn't. A guide, a mentor, he actually listened to our dad in their nightly cooking sessions. It's a bit late, I know, but I wish I'd spent more time listening to you, Dad. And Jake, I will make the best cappuccino for you every day if it helps keep that smile on your face. Promise. Let me talk about... So this is me and my folks at Camp Pakawanaka, but you know, it can't be easy being a dad, or a mom, right mom? Trying to connect to a kid who's pulling away, kicking and screaming, trying to form his own identity. Looking back on that summer now, I realized dad wasn't trying to show me up. He was trying to spend time with me. And the truth is, he was right about me all those years. I wasn't ready to take on that zombie army. I wasn't ready to know his secrets. I wasn't ready to grow up. Hey mom, thanks for believing that maybe, finally, I'm ready. Let me talk about... Okay, so here's my dad carving an ice sculpture of my mom. <laughs> you know, I could never carve something that beautiful. But the truth is, like with so many other things, my dad was right. Mastery just takes hard work and time. A lot of time. See, there's a kid out there, you all know him. John Ryerson. How did he do that? By not giving up. By taking the time to get good. I'll tell you. I finally learned from John what I wish I'd learned from my dad years ago. All it takes is time. Way to go, Phil. Way to go, Phil. Nice job. Oh, wow, you like that one. Thanks. Coming, but uh, the party's not over. We will now proceed to the t shirt giveaway. Beautiful, Junior. Will you join me now? I want to show you something. This has been a lovely afternoon, Mom. I don't remember the last time we spent this much time together just talking. As soon as I saw that sculpture, I knew what you were going through. Help me, Phil. Tear them all down. I, I can't see now take those two. where to put 
pull from? Why am I doing this? I want to show you something behind the posters. Oh, I forgot how beautiful it was. This was the alley where old man Collins died on Groundhog Day. He took his last breath in your father's arms. Oh, Jesus, when you say it like that, it sounds like Dad strangled him. <laughs> no, no. Collins was a homeless man. Kind-hearted soul. May he rest in peace. Your father could do so many things. But no matter how many times he tried again and again, how many skills he learned, he couldn't save old man Collins. He told me he painted this mural as a way to remind himself of what he learned that day. Eight, oh, two. What's that? Every night, by cold bricks glow, I watch the shadow rising from this old man in the snow. At eight, oh, two, we let it go. Did you just freestyle that? It's a haiku your father wrote about that night with old man Collins. <laughs> of course it is. The guy seems pretty happy to be dead. Your father always thought that death was not a tragedy. It was more like being released. You sure Dad didn't murder him? When Dad died, it happened suddenly, and he knew what was happening. But then he smiled at me, and he said, It's okay. I'm ready. And then he took a last breath, and he let it go. Is that star supposed to be heaven or something? Heaven, nothingness, whatever you want. I think for Phil, it was a reminder not to take any of this for granted. What do you mean? Phil told me once he had learned to adjust to hopelessness. He had to let go and just embrace it. But Mom, what if I never get out of it? I've helped people today. I've made amends. I've made lives better. If every day starts all over again, what does any of it matter? Oh, it matters, Junior. You know, I remember what must have been Phil's last day in the loop. He gave the most beautiful speech at Gobbler's Knob that morning. And that night, everyone in town was coming to thank him for something he'd done for them. He even carved me an ice sculpture just to see me smile. He made it the perfect day. And I think he must have realized he had to live every day as if it would be the day that mattered. Until eventually, it was. But believe me, when he finally got to tomorrow, from that first morning he woke up with me, he lived every second of his life with joy and gratitude. Hey, you're doing great, Junior. Just glue the tail on the kite and it'll be done. You sure it's not too windy out here, Dad? No, it's perfect. Uh, there's a strong southward gust coming off Lake Erie, giving us sustained winds of probably about 27 miles per hour. But, but Dad, what if I can't hold on and it gets blown away? Well, then it gets blown away. Just like everything, kid. That kite, your mom and me, every comic book you collect, every girl you'll ever kiss. And at some point or another, you got to let it all go. Why? I don't know why. That's just the way it works. But what happens if I don't want to let it go? 
Well, life doesn't really care what you want. Everything comes to an end. Just like that carousel ride at the mall you didn't want to get off of last week. The one that made me throw up? Hey, for the record, I told you not to eat pizza right before you got on. I like pizza! <laughs> okay, look, the point is, life is a lot like that carousel. You'll go round and round, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll eat pizza, and you'll puke. And then it ends. But when you get to that moment, hopefully a long, long time from now, all you gotta do is, poof, let it go. Did any of that make sense? No, not really. <laughs> well, I tried my best. I hope one day you'll know that. I should call Alice, order breakfast, so I can leave early and finish the statue. Every loop could be my last. Tip Top Cafe, where all your Puxatani dreams come true. Can I take your order? Hi, Alice. Hey, can I have the super mega breakfast delivered to Rita okay, Connor's house campers, on Cherry Street? Rise and shine. Thanks. <laughs> this is Phil Connors reminding you to buckle up and throw some. Seriously, Phil? You're in Puxatani? Listen, Elise, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I fucked up. Elise, I want to have this baby with you. I want us to be a family. Believe me, I am trying my hardest to come back home. Okay. Well, just let me know when you're coming, Phil. I'll be here. <laughs> Junior, did you order breakfast? I did. Listen, Mom, I know you're just going to tell everyone anyway, so... Guys, I got news. My girlfriend Elise is pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. What? Oh, my God. Way to go, Junior, bro. that's wonderful think, news. Ooh, you play date? Congratulations, oh, bro. Little children uh, are a blessing. I wish Dad was here to see you. He would tell you exactly what you needed to hear. And once you become a parent, your life isn't all about you anymore? And now you're so happy you don't even need a cappuccino this morning. Thanks, brother. And Sophie, your grandma has a VIP pass for Shiny Happy Bulletproof tonight. I do have a pass. You should invite John Ryerson when you see him at the Knob. He's Punk X, and you dig each other. John Ryerson is Punk X? <laughs> no way! Your dad would be so proud. Okay, I gotta go, but I'll see you all at the ceremony. It's going to be a good day. Let's do this. wanted for mom thanks dad all right i'm going over there to make sure you get a good spot while i get the barbecue fired up kids come on <laughs> calm down dad i really don't think it's going to be sold out oh look there's ned phil phil jr your mom hey. told me the news you're gonna be a daddy, a papa popsicle. <laughs> you know what I always say. That piece in the alley Junior, in the cafe. Junior, that was a very nice thing you did. Is that really yours? Come on, the ceremony's about to start. Um, yeah. Okay, wow. enough talk. I, I mean, Let's go to the ceremony. Someone finished it, and it's the whole family, just like your dad imagined. I finished it for you, Mom. 
I tried to make it perfect, just like Dad did. I don't understand. It's okay, Mom. Now I have to give a speech. All right, all right, everyone, settle down. We're here to celebrate Phil Connors. And to kick things off, here's Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. I'm not going to use the projector today, Ned. Thanks for coming. Nice to be here. Hey again, everyone. None of you are going to remember this, so I'm just going to level with you. I've made this speech so many times now, I've lost count. I wake up every day right here in Punxsutawney, and it's always the day before Groundhog Day, and there's nothing I can do about it. And the kicker is, the one person who would have understood is the dead guy we're here to celebrate. See, it turns out my dad and I had a lot more in common than I ever knew. And here's the real kicker, my girlfriend Elise is pregnant. I'm going to be a father. <laughs> Good one, Junior. No, no, no. Thank you, but it's actually kind of a tragedy because I'm never getting home. I'm never going to see him grow up. And all I can imagine is that it's because I'm still not ready to be a dad. I certainly failed at being a son. You know, it's funny. Dad always used to tell me that it wasn't all about me. I couldn't hear him, but I think I get it now, Dad. The only way he made peace with an eternity of one day was by making it all about you. The people of Punxsutawney, he lived that day over and over until it was damn near perfect. So, I guess we'll all be doing this again tomorrow, but I'll make you a promise. I'll try again to make this day as perfect for all of you as I can, okay? Thank you everyone for coming, but uh, the party's not over. We will never... Lola, did you... Bro, that was a weird speech, but it was beautiful. Mom was crying through the whole thing, just wow. It was just like this is us. Thanks, guys. Don't worry, Mom. I know what you're thinking. And I remember, at 802, we let it go. We've done this before, haven't we? Just like your dad. Yeah, and it gets better every time. I'm going to spend some time with Mary and the twins. Then maybe we'll go for a drink at the Pennsylvania later. You in? Okay, Jake, see you later at the Pennsylvania. Have you heard? It's going to be quite a shindig. I have heard that, yeah. Can't wait. Still making people happy even when you're not here. You've got a gift, honey. Thank you so much for that speech today, Junior. It really touched my heart. I'm glad to hear that, Mom. I'm glad I came home for the ceremony. Your dad would be too. She could do that. Oh, well, ain't that something? I swear those kids will be the death of me. <laughs> did you have a good day, Mom? I did. Thank you so much for that speech today, Junior. It really touched my heart. Glad to hear that. I'm glad I came home for the ceremony. Your dad would be too. Hey, can I ask you something? In your speech, what you said about living this day over again, is that actually happening? Is that what happened to Dad? Like, all his weird stories? All I can say, Jake, is you'll never believe it until it happens to you. But I don't think it will. It happened to me and Dad because we needed it to, and I don't think you need it. You're, like, already there. All you need is a couple cappuccinos. But... If we really are doing this all over again tomorrow, 
Can we do it all exactly the same? I mean, I think today turned out pretty gosh darn great. Um, uh, can I help you, weirdo? Uh, don't be a jerk. That's my Uncle Phil. No, he's actually pretty cool. Ha! Huh, yeah, what she said. I'm just happy to see you two having fun together. Hey, dude, this is you. You're blowing up. Uh, what are you talking about? Hey, someone posted the video of the speech you made, and it's going viral. You know, people love it. You know, even Streamler reposted it. Desperate man rambles in an attempt to stay young? What? I wasn't desperate. What? It's got four million views. Desperate it is. Hey, that thing you talked about up on stage today about every day being the same. You know, Grandpa Phil actually told me about that. Are you serious? When? I don't know. When I was like seven years old. He told me I was ready. That son of a bitch. I can't believe it. Seriously, why would he tell you? I think he liked the questions I asked. But there's... There's something I've always wondered. If each day is exactly the same, what happens if you talk to a guy on the street and the next day you don't? Does the guy just like talk to the air or something? No, 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 it doesn't work like that. If you're not there, that guy just keeps walking. And maybe instead, I don't know, he bumps into this woman coming around the corner and they start talking and fall in love, all because you weren't there to talk to him. Okay, but if then you start the day over again and you do talk to him, what happens to his falling in love with that woman? I mean, does his life start over again along with yours? Are we all repeating this day over and over again and you're the only one who knows? Or does that man's whole life and his children and his grandchildren still happen in some other time stream? Some reality version 17? You seriously just blew my mind. Yeah, uh, I don't think I can handle the existential ramifications of what you're asking, so... Why don't you use that for your next sci-fi story? And I'll just try not to think about any of that so my brain doesn't explode. Deal? Works for me. I gotta say, Sophie, you got a lot more going on than I gave you credit for. Wow, you said a nice thing. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Phil. Well, hi, buddy. You wouldn't believe the pre-Groundhog Day shindig going on in the ballroom. I swear, I just needed to catch my breath. That was a nice thing you did for Sarah today. You made her happy. Well, hell's bells, Junior. That's just what family's for. And if the bookstore doesn't work, I've got one hell of an insurance policy. Well, if it isn't my favorite ex. How are you, Sarah? How am I? Oh my god, something's really different about you, Phil. Ever since you came back to town, I don't know, it's like you've finally grown up. And about time, too, with a kid of your own on the way. You promised me some advice this morning. Any suggestions on not totally screwing it up? You know, after seeing you today, I think you're gonna do just fine, Phil. Wow, thanks, Sarah. That means a lot. But how the hell are you? What's going on in Sarah Ryerson's town? I mean, look over there. John on a date with your niece. I haven't seen him look that happy in so long. And I'm finally opening my bookstore. Do you know how long I've dreamed about this? Since we were kids. I love that you never gave up, even though everything's digital now and your business model is really obsolete. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Come on, this is probably one of the best days of my life. Good, good. Hold on to that while it lasts. Hey, want to help me move some boxes into the store tomorrow? I could use an extra set of hands. Tomorrow? Sure, why not? Nothing to lose making that promise. It's nice to have you back around, Phil. Even if it's just for a day. Every loop could be my last. Every day could be the one that sticks. What the hell? She never calls me this early. This is different. Phil, I think I just felt the baby kick. Or, wait, is it too early for that? You know what? Okay, I think it was just last night's tacos. Oh my god, is this real? Is it really tomorrow, Elise? Uh, baby, it's today. Yes! 
today is tomorrow. I made it! <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means, but Phil, I wish you'd come home. I am taking the first ride back to you, babe. I just came home. Wait, the ultrasound, it was today. It was early this morning. So you saw it. Well, is it a boy or a girl? They can't tell this early. Besides, I don't want to know. Whoever shows up, I just want her to have a clean slate. You just said her. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. It's going to be a boy. What? So you can blow stuff up in the driveway together? Yes. Absolutely yes. 100%. Oh, Phil. What? What is it? This is happening. It's so real now. What if... I'm not ready. Elise, listen to me. You are this baby's mother. That means you are made to be exactly who this baby needs. You can do this. And you will. We will. So we're doing this. I think we're doing this. You ready for a million crazy moments with me and this baby? This is really what you want. This is all I could ever want. And hey, if we screw up bad, maybe we'll be lucky. We'll get to do the day over and over and over until we get it right. <laughs> Junior, wake up. We're going to be late for Groundhog Day. That's it for the entire walkthrough for Groundhog Day like Father Like Son. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you out. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.